Welcome to the Sule software instructional video on setting up the Zebra 330 barcode scanner. For this video, you'll need the barcode scanner and it will need to be charged sufficiently. Okay, so to start out, we will go ahead and start by connecting our scanner to a Wi-Fi network. Once you've set up the Wi-Fi, the gun will connect and we can skip past some of the initial settings. You don't need to sign into a Google account for this functionality. We can give the scanner a name, something like North Shear or Loading Scanner number one, just to identify it. You can set a screen lock, but you can also set where you do not need to unlock it, especially if they're wearing gloves, it would be easier to not have to do that. We can also disable many of these features that can waste battery life. Okay, and we should be all set to go. We can just hit accept, and now the gun should be ready to take the next step to register. And now we're gonna ready to go register the scanner with the computer. So in contract management, one time we need to go to the company options and select our database that these scanners are gonna be talking to. We do that under the web API menu. And most people will only see one database here. In this case, we're gonna use the scans database. Make sure you hit save, and then you can exit this screen. If you haven't given yourself user rights, you will need to give user rights in inventory to the register barcode scanner function. Now we can launch inventory. And under the setup menu in inventory, you'll see the register barcode scanner menu. Once you click on that screen, you'll see a list of all scanners that are already registered. You go ahead and click the bottom entry and just start typing, giving this scanner a name. This could be something like North Shear or Loading Scanner Number One. After you've entered the name, you'll pick the fab shop that this scanner is going to be used at. Once you see the QR code in the bottom, that scanner has been registered with the database. Remember, this barcode is only to be used with a single scanner. So now, using the barcode that we generated on the computer, we can go ahead and bring it to Google Chrome and click in the spot where we'd enter a website address. We will now scan the QR code. You should see a long string go on the address bar and hit the enter button to jump to that website. When the gun properly registers, you'll see the scanner registration page and the name of the shop and the scanner, and we can begin loading mode. Once you see the app appear, we just have one final step to get it to work. We go into Google and we launch the data wedge. Under profile zero, we want to scroll down and we want to pick the inner character delay. We're going to set that to one millisecond. Then we're going to go down to basic data formatting and we're going to put a prefix character and a suffix character of the tilde or squiggly line. We'll click on both of those and on the keyboard we'll pick that tilde character and then we'll hit the back button to back up and go back to our scanner app. So to now test that we have everything set, we can select an operator and then finally we're going to scan a bill of lading barcode. If this works properly, once we scan it, we should see the load number fill in and we should see the number of the tags on the load and how many tags have not yet been scanned. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your barcode scanner. If you have any further questions, please see our YouTube channel for further instructional videos or email support at sulesoftware.com.